The Icelandic bind off leaves this beautiful rounded edge, almost like a little braided edge. And I wanted to come up with a cast on to match. And I think they came out quite nice. They make a lovely pair. So here is my Icelandic cast on. The secret to making the cast on and bind off edge match is to be snug with the cast on and relaxed with the bind off or use a smaller needle for the cast on, which is what I'm doing. So I've made a slip knot and put it on my needle. And I begin with casting on a single stitch. And I'm going to do that with the knitted cast on. So I enter the stitch and I pull a loop through and I insert it onto the needle knit wise. Now I'm going to knit that stitch. Remove it from my needle and insert it back onto the left hand needle knit wise. Now the steps that we are going to repeat over and over again. So I'm going to do a cable cast on. That's inserting the needle between the two stitches. Cable cast on. Insert the stitch onto the needle knitwise. Now knit the stitch. Put it back onto the needle knitwise. And we repeat. Cable cast on one stitch. Knit that stitch. Insert it back onto the needle knitwise. Notice that each time I give a little snug with the yarn to make sure that gets nice and tightened up. Cable cast on, pulling one loop through, inserting it onto the left hand needle knitwise, then knit that stitch, insert it back knitwise. So notice this can be quite, quite fast if you only move the right hand needle when you need to. So here's that cable cast on. And notice when I insert it on the left hand needle, I don't even bother removing the right hand needle. Just shift it to the back, snug up the yarn, and you're ready to knit that stitch. Insert it onto the right hand needle, and notice I immediately pull the needle out and put it right back between the two stitches, ready for a cable cast on. So you continue that rhythm cable cast on, knit a stitch, put it back, cable cast on, knit the stitch, put it back, cable cast on. Continue that rhythm until you have the number of stitches that you want cast on. And when you finish, you're going to begin knitting with a right side row. So if you're going into stockinette, go ahead and start that on a right side row and you get that lovely little braid. So there's my little rounded braid for my unvented Icelandic cast on. Now, in case you have not seen the Icelandic bind off, I'll show you that as well. We start by knitting one stitch, then transfer it back to the left hand needle purlwise, inserting the tip of the right hand needle into the front loop of the second stitch and pull that stitch through the first loop. Knit it and remove them both and repeat. Transfer the stitch purlwise back to the left hand needle, pulling the second stitch through the first knitting them and removing them both. What you are doing is knitting the second stitch while passing the first stitch over. But because you are pulling the second stitch 
through the first stitch, you are also making them change places. And that's what gives that little crisscross. Oh, just split that yarn a little bit. Just pop that back. And that's what gives that little braided appearance. So I'm gonna work my way to the end of the row and let's take a look. Here's those last few stitches. And as always, I will share the love and do that for throwing as well. So notice that each time I pull the second loop through the first loop, before I knit it, I do give a little snug. It just keeps things from getting too messy. And I keep going all the way to the end of the row. And then you simply cut your yarn and lift that tail out, give that a little snug up. And there you go. That is my unvented Icelandic cast on to go with the Icelandic bind off. I think they make a rather nice pair.